unboxing a bunch, and I mean a bunch of figures live. We have a bunch of announcements, a bunch of new things to talk about, new figures to show, announcements. Literally, this is going to be a stacked live stream. Stay tuned. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to hop on because I don't want to be talking to nobody. So let's wait for some people to hop on and then we're going to get to this live stream. Good to see everybody. Glad everybody's tuning in. I really hope your Sunday morning has been... We're going to get going here. What is going on, guys? Brutal Live back with another video. And today, yet again, we are going to be unboxing a bunch of figures live. Obviously, we picked them all up from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, where you guys can use discount code live at checkout to save 10%. We got all of Basic Series 123 right here, looking freaking fantastic. We got some other figures over here. I got a figure from a flea market this morning. I'm going to be showing that. Pretty freaking awesome as well. I think we're going to actually start with that. Went to a flea market this morning. Well, I didn't at least. Boom. Shawn Michaels basic. Can somebody help me out in the comments? What series is this from? Really stood out to me. The red and the white colors. Literally. I mean, it's not the rarest figure, but it stood out to me. I'm like, dude, I want them to make this in elite form so freaking bad. It looks fantastic. But yeah, that's a really solid figure. The pants definitely drew me in. I thought that was awesome. Um, but yes, like I said, we're going to be unboxing figures live. So without further ado, I think we should probably get into that. We should probably get into that. Beard, what do you think of this Shawn I'm Michaels figure? No, what do you think of the Shawn Michaels figure? I like this. This looks like a valuable basic figure. Oh, it's not. Usually they did make an elite guaranteed. of this. That would be so sick. But yes, we're going to be unboxing Basic Series 123 in this video right freaking Dude, now. You got to ask these fans, how many people are uh, up with the Basics? Literally, fans. Basics Basic are sick. Basic fans, they've improved them. Basics are sick. Yeah. They're updating on the tattoos. They're looking good on the head scan. They're the guitars. Yeah. Uh, articulation, I got to admit, they still got to find their way with that. But as far as all the head scans go and all of that... Freaking amazing. But that's yeah. why they're called basics. They're not elites. And I'm so used to elites, so that's why. Right. Moving into the first figure, we are going to take a closer look at Braun Strowman. There he is right there. I'm not exactly sure what attire this is from, but I believe he wore it when he was feuding with the Fiend Bray Wyatt. It's a very solid looking figure. Before we get started, Dink, what shirt are you wearing? Oh, man. Oh, man. John Cena, the new shirt. Go check out Bird Live's new video. Newest shirt. video. This morning. Go check like it out. It's a freaking insane one. And we got, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but go check it out. It's freaking awesome. But yes, into the Braun Strowman basic figure. Very nice looking figure in the packaging. There are the rest of the people in the set. Again, it's available at Ringside Collectibles right now. I haven't seen these in stores, so that's basically the only place you can get them right now. There is Strowman. We are going to crack them open. Boom. And look at this. Boom. Such an easy slide out for Mattel. Boom. Here is the Strowman looking like a very big figure right here. But obviously, it's Braun Strowman. He's a big fig. This is our first Braun Strowman figure that we're getting that is bald. So you can pick up this figure, swap the head scan if you want, even though we are going to be getting an Elite soon. So I wouldn't recommend swapping the head scan just yet. I would just wait for the shirt looks pretty good, even though it's painted on. And then the legs are pretty solid as well. I feel like they've had these legs before. Maybe on Eric Rowan. Those are um, big. Yeah, maybe on Eric Rowan there with the legs. They still look pretty freaking interesting. But yeah. They Elites. I'm going to put him right next to the Shawn Michaels there. Moving to the next figure, we do have Dexter Loomis from NXT right here. Looking freaking cool, man. We're going to jump into him right away. Obviously, very similar packaging here. With the other ones, obviously, you just got the rest of the people in the set on the back. Going to crack Dexter Loomis right out of the packaging. Boom. This is his first figure. This is the first time in the line for him, so we're getting a brand new head scan. And, dude, it looks good. Very nice articulation on this as well. Very decent articulation on this Dexter Loomis. I like the torso that they went with. There's a closer look at the head scan. You can see the bleached hair. You can see the brown mustache. Different, uh, like, 
you know, like different like colors going on with the face hand, which is pretty cool. Tattoos are pretty solid as well. Black gloves with the green jeans, which are very solid. Gonna break in that articulation right here. Very cool. Again, guys, we still gotta get to freaking these. So stay tuned. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Shout out to Awesome Aiden with a $5 donor. He says, Brett, if you could choose a number one, two, and 30th entry in the 2022 Royal Rumble, who would you choose? It could be anybody. Love the channel. By the way, where would I want to enter? I would definitely want to enter at number 30. But if I could choose a superstar to enter at the certain position of the number 30 spot, I would probably give it to... Hmm, I got to think about that. I would... Pro oh, my gosh. Hold on, Dad. I'm answering a question. I would probably give that spot, the number 30 spot... I think it would be pretty cool to give it to The Rock. I think we would have an insane pop, an awesome crowd reaction. So I think that would be pretty freaking cool. Awesome question. Thanks for the donut, by the way, my man. And of course, the steel steps got to break. Oh, Dad. Let's open those back up. Dad! Dad, do you want to say anything to the camera? Dad. Check out all these new figures, Dad. Dexter Loomis. What's my uh, his first YouTube figure? name? Does anybody know? Very Who nice. Am I? Who am I? Yeah, why does a dad ever get recognized? No, Bretto's popular, but who am I again? Come on, everybody. Dado, oh, Psycho Dado. Pigs knows. <laughs> nice, Psycho yes. Pigs. Yes, Psycho All Pigs. All right. Dude. Way to go, Psycho Kids. Dude, what do you think Psycho of kids. this Dexter Loomis? That is pretty sick. I'm I know. not sure who this is. <laughs> NXT. Brett told me he's still NXT, NXT. Yeah. He's up and comer. But, uh, it's yeah, that's a pretty figure. cool figure. For a basic, I mean, the I know. skin's nice. Even the articulation's not too bad on yeah. the arms. Right. Very nice figure. I'm liking it. And where do we pick yeah. it up from, Dad? Where do we pick it up from? Ringside Collectibles. Obviously. Using Come discount on. code, all caps, L-I-V-E. Live. Indeed. Or live. Use it. There's plenty of figures to, to buy right now. Indeed. Everybody, <laughs> good seeing you. Keep watching the channel. Please support the Bretto. Wow. We love you. And shut the where, up. Where's Dad going? The Bretto Live's new room, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. it's in progress. Yes, it is in progress. It will be <laughs> underway this week, and Brett might show you the progress on the channel. I could. That would be yeah, so interesting. It'll all be pretty <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah. So he, he might Probably show you that. some pics, and maybe we'll do a little video in there. Yeah, we could show so. it like, with all the wood, and then we could like, do like a exactly. future. Like, here we yeah, go. Yeah, this is what his room is going to be. So it so will be cool. Actually, that's a good idea. So stay sick. tuned, everybody. That will be so epic. Stay tuned. Big videos coming to the channel. Definitely stay tuned. A full room build, full WWE arena rebuild. It's gonna be freaking insane. Moving oh, to the man. next figure, we do a Bobby Lashley, not Bobby Trashley. Bobby Lashley. This is his hurt business gear. Of course, when he won the WWE Championship, not coming with the WWE Championship, obviously because it's a basic, but it still looks really nice. Uh, this is my first Lashley with the full-legged trunks so that's pretty cool i'm into that they did announce an elite um of this bobby lashley um which is pretty awesome but dude this thing's looking fantastic uh not a new head scan yet we haven't seen a new head scan for the bobby lashley's in a while um i think they've only ever used one it's the smiling one that's currently on this but this is a really nice basic i'm probably going to use this in the weekend review it's just more updated very, very cool right there. What if it's a triple threat match between Balor, Roman, and Cena at SummerSlam? That will be freaking insane. Uh, I know a lot of... Uh, shout out to Psycho Figs, by the way. He is a member of the channel. Shout out to you. Um, but, um, yeah. Finn Balor, John Cena, uh, Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. I know a lot of people were disappointed with Finn Balor answering the challenge from Roman Reigns. But, uh, in my opinion... Finn Balor, he won the Universal Championship for the first time at SummerSlam. First ever Universal Champion. So I think it, may, I think it only makes sense. And then wait till Cena, you know, give, give some time for Cena to do more promos, do more stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. Uh, $5 donor from Austin Aiden. Awesome Aiden. He says, hey, Dad Alive, who is your favorite wrestler of all time? Hey, Dad. Oh, Dad. Somebody donated, and we have to, ask, and we have to answer questions when people donate. You know that? Okay. He asked, who is your favorite wrestler of all time? Well, we know from some, the man himself sorry, right I'm here. Chewing some candy, but okay, so I can't, I can't nail down one. But I'm gonna go, John Cena. John Cena, one of the all-time favorite. Oh, top three maybe? Yeah, we'll go top, top three. three. We'll go John Cena, Seth freaking Rollins. Okay, and I think another the last one. And my last one will be Randy Orton. Randy freaking yeah. Orton, and yeah. Yeah. Orton probably being at the top of the list. I wow, he's so. He, I love Orton. It's big He's fan great. of Orton right here. Oh, yeah. Big Orton. Oh, yeah. I love him. I'm not a huge fan of him being with Riddle, 
but <laughs> Riddle <laughs> himself, yes. Yep. Would Riddle, eh, Riddle? He doesn't need. It. He shouldn't be tag team with somebody. Mm, Dad doesn't think. Mom, who is your favorite wrestler ever? Yeah, Mom, come on. And I, Momo. I'd say Ric Flair because it reminds me of my husband. <laughs> what <Flair>. the? <laughs> what the? Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Ric Flair. She's it's lying. This is double. She's lying. John Put that insane custom John Cena figure back. I will, I will, I will. Dude, we're we'll entertaining these, these people. Your views shot up, man. Really glad you guys are enjoying the live stream here. We had to answer the question. Obviously, whenever we get a donation, we have to answer the question. No Always. matter what it is. Hey, hey. Unless it's too personal, obviously. But, yes, Bobby Lashley right here. Very awesome. I love this, de uh, the, this design right here with the one elbow pad. I think that's pretty cool. He does do that. And you probably could be able to see it on camera, but there is the logo right here of him doing that, which is very cool. It's sort of like a gray. Not blending in with the black, but it's like a gray, which stands out. And then on this side, it says Almighty. You guys, again, can't see it but it looks fantastic and they get the white and the boots it's a really nice basic if you need a bobby lashley you don't want to wait for the elite i definitely recommend this one um putting him right why mom why are you hiding it's from the camera alive. get it's out of here alive. with that <laughs> might you know how rare this figure is it's, a rare yeah, it's not too rare it's the it's the newer defining moments rick flair boom mom likes rick flair huh mom yeah. she married him no. I married him. Dad does not look like Ric Flair. I don't know why people think that. Here, Dad, get over here. The fans are going to end. The fans are going to decide. Yeah, the fans will decide. This is my Ric Flair Defining Moments figure. And people say that Dad looks like Ric Flair. I have no it's idea why. Sad. But Some dude said that it's sad. What do you guys think? Let us know a yes or no in the comments. Brett, why is your most hated wrestler Sin Cara? He, fa he fails a lot of moves. Obvious. No, he No, he doesn't. People says he, he kind of does, to be he honest. Does. But no. but most a lot of hey, hey, most of the comments are Say no. no. Yeah. What he does? Most of the comments oh, are no. Yeah, he maybe even maybe likes not. wearing those boas and the and the robes, what? the pink robes. The pink Put robes. this <laughs> back. <laughs> but Brett, yes, everybody knows that Brett hates Sin Cara. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So Sin Cara. Funny. Just Brett, fails so many Brett, moves. Look at the views. They shot up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the live stream. If you have not already, oh, smash oh. a like. Smash a like, please. Oh, it really helps me get All up right, in the Brett. search ranks. And I gotta be honest with you guys, it helps me get up in the search rankings. So drop a like on the live stream if you have not already. No, Again, exactly. awesome Aiden with another five dollar dono. Brett, if you are bring anybody from AEW to Raw or SmackDown, who would it be? That's an amazing question. Literally amazing. Probably Kenny sure. Omega. Right. I would probably give it to Kenny Omega. I would love to see him go up against like a man like Seth Rollins, a uh, AJ Styles again i think that would be so epic uh and send him to smackdown i think he would be a nice fit on smackdown kenny omega uh not with the elite though not with the elite um but yeah that'll be that'll be pretty cool kalisto i'm a big fan of kalisto i think his debut after wrestlemania 32 i think it was or it might have been 31 was fantastic but then every ever since after that what's up we're leaving so. oh really yes where are you guys going house house pete's yeah, wherever else. Oh, I'm gonna do this live stream, all right? Okay. Sweet. Okay. All right. Yes. Bye, uh, everybody. Dad's leaving. <coughs> Boom. Hey, uh, before I leave. What do you need, Rad? My Rad. channel still exists. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it it might have been a while Dude. since I uploaded. <laughs> Don't sub to this man. Puts no time into his videos. Collects a paycheck at Dude. the end of the month. Literally doesn't do anything for There's his videos. Not yet. One year. Once this new he house goes up and I get going on my new builds, you Dude, guys will want to. Don't believe him. Same. He'll he'll you just will be like, tune in. oh, nobody's gonna want to watch. I'm almost the... to seven thousand uh, subs. Man. Yeah, no, we All right. don't. Subscribe Eagle Aquatics Eagle if you Aquatics. have Eagle Aquatics. Eagle Aquatics. Oh. Even though nobody knows how to spell aquatics, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, moving into the next figure. This is, again, part of Basic Series 123, Jake Atlas. Another first time in the line. We did see the first time in the line of Dexter Loomis. So it's pretty cool. We're getting another one here. Jake Atlas. Very, very awesome. Of course, in the NXT currently. I believe this is the variant for the set. If I'm not mistaken, yes, this is the variant for the set. And I believe he comes in blue. I could be wrong on that. Somebody help me on the comments. Um, but yeah, this thing looks really nice. Pretty basic uh, figure, but we're going to open it anyway. Um, popping out the plastic. I'm going to take a closer look. Very, very nice. I don't know why, but I'm getting vibes of Austin Aries. I don't know why. Um, but as far as the head skin goes, it looks really nice. There's a look at the... Dexter, no, not Dexter Loomis, Jake Atlas head scan. I think this figure looks really nice. Again, a very basic figure, but it's uh, it's really nice. And you are getting a couple logos on the side. You're getting the Atlas logo. 
uh, right under the light there. It's sort of like a green and silver logo, and then the white soles on the bottom. It's a really nice looking figure. I ain't even gonna lie about that. But again, very basic, very basic figure. But so is Jake, Al Jake Ellis's attire and look. Nothing too crazy to it, uh, but it's still a solid figure. I ain't gonna lie. Gonna put him next to Bobby Lashley there. Moving into the last figure. But again, we have a ton more figures to unbox. Trust me, guys. And a ton more figures to show. A bunch more, a bunch more announcements happening. Some insane videos about to go down. Ugh. Everything's good. Yeah, everything's good. Um, moving to the next figure, uh, figure here. We do have Otis. We got Otis right here when he won Money in the Bank. This figure is interesting looking. Oh, we were going to get it out of the packaging. They are making an elite of this. So, um, yeah, an elite is coming of this. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, we're going to get this out of the box and take a closer look. Uh, really quick, awesome Aiden with another $5 donor. He says, sorry that I keep donating, but you're my favorite YouTuber. So I just wanted to say I will be with you on your road to one mil. Uh, keep up the great work. Dude, thank you for the support. Thanks for the uh, nice comments there. Oh, one mil though. I don't know if it's ever gonna happen, man. I just gotta be honest, gotta be real. Uh, I don't think one million for Bread Alive is ever gonna happen. If we're lucky, 200,000. Um, but uh, yeah, that would be insane. That would be freaking insane. But uh, yeah, I don't know if that could ever happen. It would be cool though. Moving into the next figure, we got Otis, again, I already talked about the figure, so we're going to crack it open right now. Oh, pretty cool. There's a logo on the back. I didn't know. Let's take a look. Here he is. Dang, this is a big fig. I believe this is the same mold that they used for Ivar. Uh, I could be wrong on that because I didn't get the Ivar basic. Um, but yeah, here is Otis. Not looking too bad. It's a big fig. I gotta be honest with you guys. It's a big fig. There's a look at the head scan. Same head scan that we saw with his recent Elite. I believe it might have been 76. Could be wrong on that. It says body by steak on his painted on t-shirt. And then on the back it says working man Otis, which is pretty cool. And then one of his knee pads is yellow, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm a fan of that. Uh, pretty cool. And he's got some big knee pads. They're not molded on like the elite. These are just regular size knee pads, which is pretty awesome. He's got the white boots that say Otis. Hey, Mom, did Scott run away? No, but he's seen another dog. Oh, of course. They and flip all, out. And all the leashes were in the car. So I'm like, crap. Oh, and he started running. Mm -hmm. Scout. But it was good. Bad Scout. Scout, what do you think about Otis? Otis Scout, what do you think about Otis? cookies are amazing. Love Scott. you, bud. My mom. Good. Scout, do you like Otis? Scout does not like Otis. <laughs> um, but yes, there's the Otis figure once again. Very, very nice figure, by the way. I ain't even going to lie about that. It's pretty cool. Again, these are basics. Uh, it's a $9 figure. You're not going to be getting this quality as elite. So expect that. But uh, I mean, these are still very solid figures. A very solid basic set right here. I'm going to rate them all right now. I'm going to remove the Shawn Michaels. Spark. I'm still here. Calm down. Calm down. Go sit down. Go sit down. My least favorite figure out of this set doesn't mean it's bad, but the least favorite figure out of this set, I'm probably going to give it to... This is tough. I gotta be honest. Um, the, my least favorite figure, I'm probably gonna give it to Jake Atlas. Um, it's a good figure. It's just, it's so basic. It's just super, super basic, but it's a really, really nice figure. I mean, this is what he wears. This is what Jake Atlas wears. This is what he looks like. But as far as the figure goes, it's just a super basic figure. Nothing too crazy about that. So he's going to get my number five spot there. And number four, I'm going to give it to probably Braun Strowman. I'm going to give it to the Braun Strowman figure right here. Um, yeah, again, just another good figure, but not as good as the Dexter, the Bobby, uh, the Bobby and the Otis. And the painted on shirt looks pretty good, but, um, yeah, it would have, obviously, it's always cool to get cloth. Another donut from Austin Adam. Make Braun Strowman throw Sin Cara through a table. That will happen by the end of this stream. If I can find my Sin Cara figure, that will happen. Stay tuned. But, yes, Strowman. Uh, and uh, the reason he's higher up on the list, well, not necessarily higher, but number four, is definitely because of the new head skin. I think it's really nice and the bald. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, number three, pretty obvious, Otis. Otis is going to get number three here. Solid figure. Not bad, but kind of already have an Otis. Going to put him right next to Braun. 
Uh, moving into the number two spot, we are going to give it to, I'm probably going to give it to Bobby Lashley. This is a really, really nice figure. Articulation's good. Uh, I'm a fan of the the decals on the side too. It's it's like a it's like a light gray, but it's like almost printed in the black. It's so weird to explain, but it's it looks cool, man. Very, and this makes me even more excited for his elite, dude. So um, yeah, number two, Bobby Lashley's gonna get that, and then at number one, Dexter Loomis, man. This is a really nice figure. Uh, I like the head scan. I think they did a really nice job with the contrast between the fade and the bleached hair and the mustache. They did a great job, as well as the tattoos and these jeans, man. It's a it's a it's a really nice figure. I ain't even gonna lie about that. Um, yeah, they really impressed me with this Dexter Loomis. I love this figure. Gonna put him right there, and then there is your official list of Basic Series 123 right there. Not bad whatsoever. If you guys are interested in any of them, again, they are available at ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Feel free to use discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10% off. It will save you 10%. Uh, what is your opinion on CM Punk's return to, re to a wrestling ring? That's freaking insane. It's not necessarily confirmed. Uh, it is still technically a rumor that he's going to be signing with AEW, but if he does, that would be freaking insane. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of what is he going to do and can he top what he did in WWE? I don't think he would be able to I really don't. It would be really tough to top what he did in WWE. Um, but yeah, it's pretty freaking interesting. I'm going to see what happens there. Tune in AEW every single week. Sorry about the lack of AEW uh, reviews this past week. Again, I, did, I didn't say it was going to be every single week. Um, but, um, just been a little busy with stuff going on, but, uh, yeah, not bad. Moving into the next pack of figures right here, Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford. This is part of Championship Showdown Series, I believe it's six. Yes, six, Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford. Did you guys see that rolling loud match that Dawkins and Gable had? What'd you guys think of that? <clears throat> Let me know down in the comments down below. It was on SmackDown. <clears throat> Yeah, but that that was just I don't know about that. That was crappy. Just the way that they were doing the fake crowd noise. That crowd had no idea what they were watching. I just was not a fan. Literally, it was just so I don't even know. They didn't even know who Bianca Belair was. Uh it was just it was garbage, man. I think that ruined SmackDown in my opinion. That ruined the show. Uh those two matches right there. Hey Spark, I'm still here. Will you calm down? Go sit down. Go sit down. Um, but yeah, that ruined SmackDown in my opinion. Awesome Aiden with another $5 dono. No more donations, okay? Unless you tell me to, lol. I am not gonna tell you to donate, my man. Only if you guys want to, feel free to. Um, but again, you do not need to. As long as you smash a like on this video and you're tuning in, that's plenty enough for me. But yes, guys, Dawkins, Ford, right here. We are going to crack it open. They're the other people in the set that you will see reviewed in this video. I'm so excited to get those Usos out of the box. I'll pick them up from ringside as well. Code live save 10%. We're going to crack it open right freaking now. Getting those side plates out first. Got that side plate there. Nathan Purdy coming out of nowhere with a $2 dono. CM Punk is all elite. He very well could be, man. That would be freaking insane. And would he come out with the Colts of Personality theme? They, he very well could. If AEW buys the rights to the song, they, he very well could. Like, for real. Like, that would be insane if he did, too. Um, But, yeah, it's just mind-blowing. And to get more CM Punk figures... Could you imagine? Oh my God, that'd be so epic. Uh, so I really hope it happens. Daniel Bryan, that's like almost positive, uh, like almost for sure. But yes, moving back into the Street Profits uh, two pack here, we got the Street Profits side plates, which look very nice. I'm building that collection very fast to those side plates. We're gonna hop into the battle pack here of Dawkins and Ford. Gonna crack them out of the plastic. There it is. Dawkins, and here is Ford, here is Ford right here, wow, these are pretty nice, dang, nice head scans on these, I like this one more than the Elite, bust in that articulation really quick, here's Dawkins, dang, these aren't too bad, I wish there was some sort of decal on Dawkins' um, what do you call it, his headband? Still looks pretty good, though. 
Moving into the figures themselves. Sorry about that. Just wanted to get a closer look, see what I'm about to say about them. Street Profits logo on the center. I love the combination of the gold and black on these. It looks really good in the, and just top it all off with the black on the bottom. Head scan is very nice. They haven't changed the Angelo Dawkins head scan. The only thing they did was the little white headband. And like I already said, I wish they did change, uh, or not change, but like put a little decal on that. I think that would have been pretty nice because there's no way he was only wearing a white uh, headband at wh whenever he wore that. There's literally no way. He had to have had a logo on that. But what's really cool with these, you can place him on the stand and boom, pop him up just like that. I think that's really cool. Here's a look at the Montez Ford. They nailed it with these tattoos on the side. And again, the gold and black is just fantastic looking, dude. It's going to fit amazing with my red and white and my green and white figures that I already have of them. So that's going to be really cool to do. And I like this head scan more than the Elite. I believe they used this head scan on the basic, uh, on their on Montez Ford's first basic figure. So uh, it's going to be very cool to put this one maybe on my Elite figure. I'm debating on that. I'm very well debating on that. It looks amazing. Going to plug him in the bottom of his little stand there. And there he is right there, Montez Ford. Very sick. Love those, man. Moving to the next battle pack here, we do have John Cena and Shawn Michaels right here. The Heartbreak Kid, Mr. Hustle Loyalty Respect, John Cena. So freaking epic. Um, Awesome, dude. Also part of Series 6 right here of Championship Showdowns. Very nice. I'm very excited for these side plates as well. Crap, look at that. Look at that. That just shows that these stands work. Monte, uh, Montez Ford did not fall over even though I just hit him. That's perfect. And there's a look at the back. Of course, you can buy the championship, uh, of course, to interchange the side plates on that, which is pretty epic. Uh, but moving into the battle pack itself, we're going to crack it right open. Let's do this right now. Boom, dude. That is sick. There are the side plates that I was excited for. Get the Heartbreak Kid side plate. And we got John Cena's You Can't See Me side plate, which is very iconic. He uses that a lot. And if he wins the Universal title somehow, that will definitely be on the side. And then here is Shawn Michaels' Heartbreak Kid. There's his classic tattoo that he has on, I believe it's his left arm. Boom, right there. That is epic. Going to get the figures out of the plastic right now. Boom. There's John Cena, Shawn Michaels out of the plastic. Looking very cool. Let's get out the Shawn. Shawn Michaels. John Cena. Not bad. That is the Ultimate Edition head scan. I was right on that. Very shocked I was. That looks amazing. Crazy how they're using that Ultimate Edition head scan on this basic figure. That's insane. Put that there. Take a look at the Sean. Nice head scan on the Sean, dude. Same like uh, like headpiece we've seen, but this is like a brand new freaking, you know, like like, head, like, color to the head scan. Awesome, Aiden, with another $5 donor. He says, someone in the chat is asking, what is your favorite AJ Styles Elite? That's an amazing question. My favorite AJ Styles Elite is the Toys R Us exclusive network spotlight figure. I think that's a very solid underrated one. And also another donate, dono right here, Matthew Lopez. Shout out to you. He says, what's up, my man? What's up, dude? Good to see you here on the live stream. This freaking dumb steel steps. Set that back up there. Sorry about that, guys. Lower that. There we go. But yes, into the battle pack. Thank you so much for the donuts, by the way, guys. Again, you guys do not have to donate. Only if you guys want to. Tuning into the live stream and liking the video is plenty for me. But yes, here is the Shawn Michaels figure. Dude, the, look at that. That's freaking insane right there. You got the green logos on the side which looks freaking insane. You also do have the Heartbreak Kid logo with the silver, which looks really nice. This is a really solid figure. I wish this was Elite. I gotta be honest with you guys. Uh, but it's not. But there's a look at the head scan. Again, I know I'm not, I'm not using my really good camera, so it's not gonna be the best um, quali quality here. But it's a really nice head scan. It's the same mold that they've used, but definitely different paint apps on that. Definitely. Have I gotten Elite 87 yet? I have not, but definitely planning on it. And definitely stay tuned for the reviews on those. And you're also seeing the DX little... Uh, a uh, little logo on the wrist tape, which is really nice. And like I did with the Montez Ford Angelo Dawkins, you can pop this right in the bottom of the... Oh, look at that. Interesting. There was a little sticker on the 
little tab where you're supposed to put the uh, figure's leg. That's odd. But there's the side plate once again. And what I'm going to do right now is put the Shawn Michaels uh, little boot right on there. And there you have Michaels posing. Let's get the arms up. Just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. There's Shawn Michaels. Ah, oh, Shawn Michaels. Coming down to the ring. Awesome, Aiden, with another $5 donor. He says, bye, bro. Thanks for reading my donations and hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much, man. Really hope you have an amazing day as well. It's going to be a good one, I already know. Even though I do have to go to work, uh, I do have to go to work in a good, like, two hours. So we got plenty of time for this stream. Um, but, yeah, you got to keep on bringing in that cash, you know. Always have to. But uh, in order to keep the channel going and to keep... The, the collection building, obviously. You gotta work for what you got, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, super awesome. Very cool, Shawn Michaels. Here's a look at the Cena. Very cool. Like I already said, this is the Ultimate Edition head scan on this basic, which is insane. There's no decal on the uh, little armband here, which I thought was a little odd, but again, they have a budget with these basics. They can't do everything. Uh, they got the classic Cena torso there for the basics. Nice jorts and the black shoes. And then we're gonna pop him on his little stand here. Looking very cool. Boom. There is Cena on the stand. Uh, have I seen the SDCC reveals? Yes, I have. And we may be going live on Instagram later with a couple of you guys uh, talking about those figures. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be freaking epic. And I do have a lot of pre-orders in, by the way. Spark, what are you doing under there? Spark, get out of there. What are you doing under there? Spark's under the table. Spark, what are you doing? Spark, calm down, Spark. Yeah. No. Let's get some footage of Spark. You gotta calm down, Spark. Calm down. Spark. Hi, Spark. Poor Spark. But yes, back into the figure unboxings for today. We have one more package to get to, and it is the Usos. Oh yeah, this looks epic. I am so freaking hyped for this. You guys do not even know. Tech underscore on underscore 30 FPS. Shout out to you with the $2 dono. He says, who's your favorite NXT star? That's an amazing question. It was Finn Balor. Um, but it's probably gonna have to be, uh, I'll probably have to give that to, oh, I don't really watch NXT too much, but I'm probably gonna have to give that to Karrion Cross. Probably gonna have to get to give that to Karrion Cross, even though he lost to Jeff Hardy in his debut, but whatever. Uh, so glad Jeff got that win, by the way. Thanks for the donut, my man. Awesome, made it with another $5 donut. Shout out to you. He says, all right, last time, but who is your favorite rapper? Mine is Juice World. Interesting. I don't necessarily have a favorite rapper. Uh, I do listen to some rap. A bunch of different music. I don't really have, like, a favorite artist, though. I gotta be honest with you. I don't really have a favorite artist. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do, listen, I do listen to a bunch of different music. Country, rap, pop, literally everything. Literally everything. So, uh, yeah. Some little fun fact about Bird Alive, if you guys even care. The Usos! Thanks so much for the donut, by the way, my man. But, yeah, I'm so hyped for this battle pack. So epic. And I just received word that the hats on these things have the Uso logo. They have the Uso logo on it, so I'm insanely hyped. I don't even want to shove the packaging. Let's get this thing open. Oh, yeah. Let's get a look at those side plates. For no, forget the side plates. Let's get those Uso figures out. And they do have the Uso logo on the hat. That is so sick. Dude, let's get these out. Oh, my gosh. This is so epic. Dude, even though they're basic, they're so sick. Dude. There is Jimmy. Wow. Even that's a, that's a nice head scan, too. Dude, that is sick. Dang. They're using the same Jeff Hardy mold that they did with the hood. So the hood's in the back. That is so epic. Oh, I can stand them up for you guys. You guys can, can start getting a look at him. And then here is Jay. Jay Uso, main event. Jay Uso. <laughs> right here it's epic <clears throat> dang love this head scan by the way 
Uh, very, very nice head scan on this. Down since. Day one ish. Yeah, down since. Day one ish. So freaking epic. There they both are looking insane. They do have some hidden little decals around the figure. I'm going to be showing those. But I got to get these side plates out of the packaging. Doing that right now. We got the Uso side plates, with, which look legit right there. Very, very cool. I love those. Which one's better? Somebody's asking in the comments. Well, uh, besides the head scan, they're the same figure. But as far as the head scan goes, I'm probably going to give, have to give it to Jay. The J head scan, that's always been an insane head scan in my opinion. But yeah, getting an up close uh, look for the camera here. Very epic. The Jimmy's got the yelling head scan and Jay's got the uh, the true effects head scan technology. There's a look at the hat. Ooh, so how sick is that with the white? Both of them have it. So you get some Uso hats, which are very cool. And they they wear these a lot. They wear them a lot. So uh, it's pretty cool. They used to on like the original SmackDown. Um, awesome made it with another $5 donut. I thought he left. Probably going to get in trouble for sending money. But do you prefer Jimmy or Jay Uso? <laughs> Please stop sending money, my man. Oh, uh, just in case. Um, but uh, yeah, Jimmy or Jay Uso, my favorite would probably have to be Jimmy. Jimmy's always been my favorite Uso, but in figure form, this GA is pretty freaking good. There's a look at the back. It says Uso down since day one-ish. Very epic. These are really nice. Definitely going to feature these in my weekend review. Definitely stay tuned for that. That is epic. Going to put them on their little stands here. Stand them up. Get Jay going on, or Jimmy going on. Boom. And there you guys go. All of Championship Showdown Series 6. We're going to rate the full set. And we're, we're not going to do it like the John Cena Shawn Michaels Battle Pack, the Street Profits Battle Pack. No, we're going to do it by figure. We're going to do it by figure just like we did with the basic Battle Pack. So stay tuned. Let's freaking do it. All right. By figure again, not by Battle Pack. Spark, what are you doing? What are you yelling about? Spark's squealing. Getting a little refresher of a drink. We are going to take a look at my least favorite figure first. My least favorite figure out of the entire set. I'm not even going to hesitate. Angelo Dawkins. Definitely. Is my least favorite figure. I just think the proportions on this are pretty big. It's a really solid figure. But... And the attire and the colors. Everything about it is really good. But I've never been the biggest fan of like the torso and the... The pieces that they choose for it. Even with the Elite, I was never a big fan. Uh, um, but yeah, here's the Mont. Uh, yeah, so number six, I'm going to give it to Angelo Dawkins. Angelo Dawkins is definitely going to get the number six spot for this. Moving into number five, I hate to do this, but John Cena. John Cena is going to get the number five spot. I'm really happy that they used the Ultimate Edition head scan. No decal on the armband was a little disappointing for me. Um, but other than that, it's a John Cena figure. And if you need a John Cena figure, I definitely recommend it. So number five, Cena is going to get that spot. At number four, I am probably going to give it to Montez Ford. Montez Ford is going to get the number four spot here. Uh, again, good figure. I really don't really have any gripes with it. Uh, head scan's amazing. I'm debating on whether to put it on my Elite or not, which is insane because that Elite head scan's pretty freaking good already. Uh, the tattoos look good. Everything really looks good on this figure. I ain't even going to lie about that. Uh, very fantastic figure. I'm going to put him back here next to Angelo Dawkins. Uh, moving into my number three spot, I believe it is. Yeah, number three. I'm going to give it to Shaw. No, I'm not going to give it to Shaw Michaels. He's going to be higher. I'm going to give it to number three. I'm going to give it to Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso is going to get my number three spot there. It's a very nice uh, Jimmy Uso figure. I like the new head skin that they went with. Uh, the day one the day one is short. I love the deco on it and everything. Um, but yeah, Jimmy Uso is going to get my number freaking um, number three spot there. Jimmy Uso. And then number two, I'm going to give it to Jay. Jay is going to get number two only because of the head scan. I think it's a little better than the uh, the Jimmy. And it was an, you know, this was an awesome surprise, getting the Uso hats uh, that say Uso on it. That was, a, that was a pretty awesome surprise. So hats off to Mattel for that. 
Uh, I didn't even expect it until I got the pack. So uh, yeah, that's freaking insane. Thank you guys so much for that. Mattel, you guys always are killing it over there. Shout out to you guys. And number one, believe it or not, some, some of you guys are going to get shocked. Shawn Michaels is getting number one. Definitely. Shawn Michaels, number one. I just love the head scan on that. The, the tattoo on the left arm is there, and it's painted. Uh, the DX little lo uh, logos on the wrist tape, they didn't hesitate with that. The pinstriping on the, on the pants looks fantastic. The logo right there, the Heartbreak Kid, just looks fantastic as well. So number one gets Shawn Michaels, man. It's a, it's a really solid figure. Uh, and yeah, guys, that was all the unboxings we had to do. In the vid, I don't think I'm, yeah, I'm not going to end the live stream yet. I just wanted to get all those unboxed in front of the camera for you guys. I'm going to put them all over here now. Now that I've, now that I've rated the entire set, we're going to pop that little stud on there. But yeah, very solid, very, very solid set of figures right here. I'm going to put the Sean, my favorite one over there, Cena, boom. Who's this? Jimmy right there, and then Jay right there solid set of basics guys definitely if you guys are interested my favorite battle pack out of the three is definitely the usos and then sean and cena and then the street profits uh but yeah guys that has been the unboxings really quick a new ultimate edition that i recently got the rock if you guys have not seen the unboxing on it it's a fantastic rock figure i definitely suggest picking this up even though if you're like oh well i already have another rock figure look at that shirt Soldier, just bring it. First ever title we are getting with side plates, special for a superstar. First time ever. The head scans were fantastic, literally amazing. Love that figure so much. You guys are probably like, wait, where's the Cena? Little treat for everybody for uh, for tuning into this live stream. Let's turn around the camera. That's what you guys have been sitting on, by the way, steel stairs. And there's the pile of recycle that I will be recycling. Um, but yes, moving to the Cena collection. Look at this. Boom. John Cena collection looking absolutely fantastic. Dude, what is your guys' favorite one right now? What is your favorite one in front of you guys? Look at this collection, dude, of Cena's. There's the newest one, Ultimate Edition Cena. WWE title, Mini 27. This isn't going to be the final home for them. I just wanted to display them because they look amazing. Uh, Elite 37, got that one recently. Boom, Elite 7. Elite 3. Best of pay-per-views. Best of pay-per-views. Uh, awesome one right there. I, I, I could be wrong on that. It might be Elite 14, Cena. Choo Choo Talks WWE. What? What up, my man? I didn't know you still watch Brit Alive. The man that won the Daniel Bryan retro figure. That's freaking insane. Cool to see you up here on the stream, my man. Good to see you. But look at this, man. There's another Elite around 45 Cena, somewhere around there. Uh, yeah, it's a really solid collection. I'm a big, big fan of all of those. One of my favorite figures to collect, by the way, John freaking Cena. And again, more bins up here. Just going to do a little panning. Some people want to see the bins, so... Uh, Definitely going to be showing that for the fans here. A couple of CM Punk figures in there. Dolph Ziggler. This is a really nice Dolph Ziggler, by the way. I like that one. That might be Elite 19. Uh, and then you got the Undertaker there, Ricochet, Orton. It's pretty deep, too. You can see down there. Spark! What do you think of all the garbage? Spark! What do you guys think of Spark? <laughs> Spark! He's like, I don't want to look at the camera. Boom! Main Elite bin right here. Not looking too bad whatsoever. Got SmackDown right here. Got Raw right over there. I don't know who put this Jeff Hardy right here. That Jeff Hardy was not in here before, but I'll keep him in there because that's a sick variant. Uh, NXT surrounding that side. Legends bin looking fantastic. Look at all of these. Giant Gonzalez is in there. Somebody was asking me if I put that in my Mattel bin. Yes, I did. There are the Elites down in there. Andre made his way into the Legends bin. Here's probably my favorite bin of them all. Uh, Ruthless Aggression slash Attitude Era bin right here. Oh, looking freaking fantastic. 
We've added some new ones in here, like the Jack Swagger, that DB, that Mankind, and of course, some originals in here, the Bret Hart, right there. The Rock added that one. Fan Takeover Christian, which I freaking love. Bradshaw, also another recent one. Dude, not bad whatsoever. And again, this is deep, so like, you're not seeing every single one of them. Look at all of that. Not bad whatsoever. We have another bin down here. And again, if you guys are like, wait, why is everything so scattered? If you guys didn't hear, we did move out of the old house that I was in. So that, that's why everything's kind of messed up right now. Uh, but again, we'll be, uh, I will be getting a new room soon. That's going to be freaking epic. So stay tuned for that. Bunch of new arenas coming. There is a look. Hey, Spark. There's a look at the bin one more time. Spark, who do you like in there? Boom, closing it. And then there's one more bin up there. It's kind of a hod hodgepodge in there. Nothing really crazy in there. Not my favorite bin ever. As you can see on the outside, there's like a billion Braun Strowmans. And then there's a, my newest bin that I just bought a couple days ago. All my accessories I managed to fit in there. Literally all of them. It's a hefty bin. Uh, and yeah, that's a very, very awesome bin. Uh, yeah, not bad whatsoever. But yes, guys, I can't really think of anything else to do in the stream. Uh, actually, I just did. Drop down right in the comments uh, any last minute questions for the stream. Uh, drop down the questions. Uh, oh my gosh, the Sin Cara. How could I almost forget? Well, I am pulling that Sin Cara from one of my bins. Enjoy this Elite 27 Rob Van Dam. Let me go find him. Do have one Sin Cara figure. Oh, will we be able to find him? Come on. Oh, we gotta be able to. Come on now. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. Do I still have that figure? Man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find that Sin. See. Searching for the sin. The sin car. Can't seem to find it. I know I have one. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. I cannot find my sin cara. I am so sorry, my man. But I cannot find my Sin Cara. That thing's got to be deep somewhere because obviously I just like Sin Cara, so I don't use his figure. Um, but yes, we will. I have the next closest thing to a Sin Cara figure, Rey Mysterio. And because I'm super mad, boom! Get wrecked. So sorry, my man. I was not able to find the um, Sin Cara figure. But yes, Rey Mysterio right there not too bad whatsoever <laughs> um thank you my man that's fine he said dude so sorry about that i literally i could not find it for real i literally just checked all my bins uh hopefully it's not gone <laughs> because it's actually a pretty good figure uh but yes there's the ray ray very sick and yes now guys if you guys did post a comment uh or a question redo that because i wasn't able to see it uh where do you suggest getting a cm punk figure the only place really right now is ebay um other than that i don't uh any toy shows definitely try those uh but yeah favorite ultimate edition that's a fantastic question favorite ultimate edition is more than likely the hollywood hulk hogan figure it's a very nice one also got this elite 27 rvd right here inspiration for the new rvd that's going to be coming which i'm super insanely hyped for obviously got the steel chair with him as well very epic Ultimate Edition Rock. Some stacked figures up in here. Um, yes, the house build is coming along on my IG story. Somebody saw. Pretty, 
pretty cool process. Um, again, guys, if you have any questions, drop them down. Last minute ones, I will try to respond to as many as I can. Yes, Jeff Hardy's No More Words theme is back. I think it's awesome. Uh, thoughts on CM Punk signing with AEW? I think that's absolutely insane, if he actually did. Uh, what is your favorite main event? Favorite main event? Oh, I don't really have a favorite main event match of all time. Um, favorite AEW figure? That's a good question. Probably the Unrivaled Series 4, Kenny Omega. Uh, Lead 84, Roman Reigns, and Top Picks 2022, Roman Reigns, came in. Yes, I do believe they're in stock, yes. Um, again, guys, if you have any questions, drop them down. Can we see your AEW figure bin? Heck yeah. Let's bring you down here. I think I've showed it before, but not in this live stream. It's right in here. Boom. We got most of the AEW figures in here. Santana, who did like my post. Um, he did like my post. Santana did. Um, so that's pretty freaking insane. He, I did a post with the inner circle. And Santana was the only one to like it, which is freaking insane. So thank you, Santana. Well, by ever chance that you're watching this video, shout out to you. But yeah, here's the AEW figure bin. There's my favorite uh, AEW figure. And of course, your favorite figure, I got Mach right over there above the goldfish. Pretty freaking insane. Again, I know it's a hodgepodge in this room, but it's not. It's only temporary. Only temporary, guys. Not bad whatsoever. Penta El Cero Miedo. Zero, zero, Penta. Very freaking cool. I love that figure so much. I put Malik back in here. Pretty awesome. There's Hangman Page, Sammy Guevara. Not a bad bin whatsoever right there. But yes, guys, that has been the live stream for today. I've been live for about an hour, uh, working on 52 minutes right now. But yes, guys, that was the live stream for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It's a pretty solid one to film. I really enjoyed talking to you guys, answering some questions, unboxing wrestling figures, uh, interacting with the fans. I think it's always fun. Not a lot of wrestling figure YouTubers do live streams, so that's why I try to do a decent amount because not a lot of, you know, it's, it offers something new to the community. So I thought I'd try to do live streams and become the WWE Action Figure live stream guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy these. I know I have fun doing them. Uh, if you donated, shout out to you. If you liked the video, shout out to you. Um, if you even tuned in, shout out to all the legends here that tuned in. Shout out to you guys. You're all kings. And I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to the channel. ToyCon also is coming up again. So video dropping soon on that. Definitely stay tuned. It's going to be a banger. And I really hope you guys enjoyed Bread Alive. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if your friends like WWE, tell them about Bread Alive. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bread Alive.